There are so many obscure and unknown facts about Taha Project that just need to be known. So allow me to spend the next Seven. minutes to tell you some weird facts about Taha. Rainbow Hakure is the first main character in the series. She likely had two sources of inspiration. The first is Sile-chan from Kiki Kai Kai, a top-down shooter game, and whatever this character is from the manga Sadai, where many other early characters got their design inspirations, like Nudge resembling Sakuya Izayoi. Everyone and their mother know that her time stop ability is a reference to Dio of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. This is reflected in her color palette from Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, where two more of her skins are references to other media. One is Soingi Toho from Rose and Maiden, and the other is Rukoto from Toho 3, Phantasmagoria of Dim Dream. In this game, Marisa's special attack artwork was stolen from the black nurse of the game, Rance. The rest of the era has a bit of other stolen material, like the graphical engine for Toho 3 being stolen from Premanent Soft, developers that would use it in the game Stormy Space. Another comes from the very first Toho game where, in one of the stages, the anime girl in the background comes from Toshin Toshi 2, a game released in 1994. While on the topic of robbery, why not talk about the character infamous for thievery, Marisa Kirisame. She is known for borrowing books from Patchouli and other people with precious treasures. According to Bohemian Archive in Japanese Red, Marisa told Aya her reasoning for borrowing books was, My life is way shorter than yours anyway, so can't you just take back everything after I kick the bucket? I'm just borrowing till then. Despite Marisa's repeated robbery for books, Patchouli teams up with her in stories subterranean animism. It's fitting as she is known to live in poor health, so going outside would screw up her asthma. On the topic of magicians, they are not considered humans in the lore, but rather as yokai. A magician like Marisa is still a human as she has yet to stop her aging, yet Alice Margotroid is a full on yokai because she has done the deed already. She is known as the rainbow colored puppeteer as she believes color has correlation to power, and it's a reoccurring thing in Perfect Cherry Blossom as Chen, Ron, and Ikari Akumo are all named after colors, bitter orange, indigo, and purple respectively. Tall 7 is the only game in the franchise to use a Noma in its name, a character used in Japanese for repeating the sounds of a previous kanji. In April 2004, during the first Rei Tasai, an official scoring competition in the Phantasm stage was held. The stage was said to have different dialogue and music that was featured in the Dolgen album by Sound Sefer, Cradle. Two songs Zun composed were in it. Spiritual Domination, Speed Fox from Perfect Cherry Blossom, and Cinderella Cage, Kagome Kagome from Perishable Night. Tall 8 is a unique game from the rest of the franchise as it is the only one to feature last words. A lot of them are references to fairly related things like Deflation World being a possible reference to cosmic inflation. They are opposite concepts as deflating the entire universe would require an impossible amount of energy to accomplish. And yes, Zawarabo. Blazing Star is a possible reference to the Neo Geo title the same name, and the description of Tree Ocean of Horai refers to the Aoki Gahara, a place infamous for dense woodland and people taking their own lives there. Um, it's the place where Logan Paul got into trouble if you know what I mean. Speaking of names, Aiden's name in kanji is the same as Aiden, a shortening for the Film Classification and Ratings Association. Think of this organization as the MPAA or ESRB for movies. Cerno's name is quite easy to remember. The problem is, it's actually how to pronounce it. Some may say the only correct way to pronounce it is the original Japanese Chirono, while other Westerners say it as Cerno due to how it's written in Latin characters. There are other rarer pronunciations like Kirno for those monsters who pronounce C as a K, Chilno, a closer translation to the possible meaning of the name, Chilling, or even Circa, most common among the Finnish. There exists a version of Embodiment the Skrull Devil in 3D. The most common Toho fan games you will find are the ones made with Danma Kufu, an old game engine with interesting creations like Comatose Chaos, a game that is set to improve the faults of Vile Detector since <laughs> uh, everyone likes that one. Subterranean Hatred, an unofficial phantasm stage for subterranean animism worked on, quote unquote, everyone from the Red Cucumber Thread. All anonymous users on Nichan which gained significance for the fan-made boss, Mitori Kawashiro, and the Alternative Age a fairly forgettable shoot 'em up released by Dunmok, who are infamous for releasing Resurrection of Heaven's Liquor, which even the Toho Wiki clowns on for having poor quality. It is unique as there are 5 playable characters that you will rarely see, Moko, Suwako, Ron, Aya, but the most notable one is Flandra, who is likely the most famous of them all. Everyone knows her silly appearance in the Ronald McDonald remix video, but a sillier moment was when she actually broke the fourth wall in Marisa's route in the extra stage of Toho 6. No, seriously. 
There are other times the fourth wall gets broken in Toho aside from this, when Orange tells Raymond not to underestimate a stage 1 boss, when Yuka told the player to train harder in the Mystic Square ending, and when Kogasa scares the player on the CD of UFO. Ugh. Toho 12 had a problem in the Steam releases where antivirus programs would warn that the game contains Dark Hotel, a key logging and phishing virus. For a time between December 2020 and January 2021, the distribution for the game had to be halted. Going back to when the game released in 2009, Toho games usually get sold at Comic Cat for a while until they become available in Doujin stores. Because of the hype of UFO, an English patch was swiftly made and released on the Gensokia.org on December 8th, 2009, three days before it was released in the stores. Stores do exist in the Toho universe, most notably Kōrindō, owned by Ryosuke Morichika. The store possesses items from the outside world, like teacups, computing magazines, and even iPods. The most popular Toho song on Nickel Nickel Dolga is Bad Apple, which also holds the honor of being the most popular video on the website. Uh, period. It's the same case on YouTube, where three of the top 10 most popular songs are Bad Apple remixes. However, on the most recent Toho Wiki popularity list, Bad Apple was in 54th place out of about 600 songs. It's a good showing as it's the most popular PC98 song, arguably thanks to the Nomiko remix. The wiki polls are strange, especially in the early years as the Prism Rivers got 4th place overall in the second ever poll in 2003. Most fans joining the fandom were during the Hidden Star and Wily Beast era, and even there being only a poll for spell cards in 2006, after not even there being a poll at all in 2007. But I think the most interesting fact of the polls is, throughout all of the wiki poll history spanning 20 years, Reimu Hakure has managed to stay in the top 3 throughout every single contest. Except for one, where she got a 6th place finish in 2004, coming in behind Raisin. Oh my goodness, my breath hurts. But that is enough for today. So if you have some interesting Toho knowledge that you want to share, please tell me. Facts and knowledge keep our brains healthy, so spit something out. In the meantime, for our brothers, sisters, and nerds alike, I hope you enjoy this strange video format because uh, I'm going to bed. So uh, yeah, goodbye, goodnight.